Hello guys, welcome to yet another episode of The Unfinished. This is where we cover trending stories and exploring and reveling mysteries happening in the country. I am your host for today, Ayuvin Jugona. So guys, our topic for today is a very interesting one and very controversial. We're going to talk ab about online dating. Online dating is arranging to meet somebody and possibly begin a romantic relationship with them. So our question for today is going to be, do you think that online dating should be banned in Kenya? What's your thought on that? Please let us know. I'm Jamela Moses, you can call me MC Agwash. Uh, it's a very good question, but I don't think it's the right thing for now because it will be a rush to ban it. Kuna vitu mobi sana zingekwa zimebaniwa na as much as ineza kwa ikona negative effect pia kuna vile ineza kwa ineza idea in some way. So instead of banning it, maybe you talk about uh, regulating online dating. Yeah. I don't think so. Why? I think people should explore the options. You know, some people are scared of meeting people one on one so they find it easier through online dating. So that's my intake. Okay. No. Why? Because many, many, many youths and teens meet there and in a lifetime you find like many couples tell you maybe they met on online and this is what has been helping them. I don't think so. I think somehow watch out to a batike honestly. But in a fake when a certain controls. Let's say if the app where you're doing that online dating can register, ama there's a way it can keep track of your location with the person. Maybe yes, you've chosen to on a date, but if those apps themselves, zine as a kuana security, come at some of these trading apps, unapata some even take a photo of your ID, all that is akwa secure, kwa ensure more security. By the time umengen an online dating platform, and let's say just for you to be registered in there, a photo of your ID was was taken and maybe the location where you live. I think such measures would either reduce or help curb when these actions happen because when they happen and you can't really trace when a person has put a fake photo, honestly, you can't really say whether that is the person. I guess catfishing really happens a lot. But if a person literally had to take a photo of their ID just to register on the platform, I think that would curb a lot of catfishing, fakeness and security matters on finding the person later on. Yeah, for, for me, I guess uh, I agree they should be banned because uh, looking at the, the side effects, the negative are more are more than the positive ones. For example, you can when I meet to now, I'm to easy online dating apps, and uh, anything can happen, especially considering what has been happening uh, uh, recently. Uh, I guess as in Kwaziko, those are few lives that could have been uh, saved. Yeah, so for me, I agree they should be banned. I don't think it should be banned. Yeah. Reasons? For some people, it actually works out quite well. Mm, like, personally, past experience, uh, I met someone through Tinder. Yeah, though it didn't work out, but we are really close friends right now. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, yes or no, because if we can say yes, uh, Unajua tukibani itasaidia ku prevent these cases uh, the the kama ya kasarani the one ya so be inge prevent these cases we we nini and no because uh, people sometimes nini wanapata partners uh, online na wana wana the wana kuzwa kutengeza families popo au kunje so it depends it uh, someone's nini na unajua online kuna watu serious kuna watu jokers serious business they are looking for partners for me i think they should because uh, at a you want to find your perfect match then you see the profile maybe a dmc a jacker profile real some keep in real life unashanga who is this and you saw an indian guy and you fell in love so yeah they should be banned it should not be banned because um, different people with their different desires, different opinions. So, Kawengine, they see like uh, Kutafta, Kipen's Chao online is the easiest way. In Kawengine, they love the physical. So, and to me, I think the dating, uh, the online dating, you watch it to you. For Wale when you are now Gopa, 
looked after physically. Yeah. No, it should be controlled. Yeah. Because I think some fall victims of negative things, although some get married. I feel I feel your space uh eco considerable kwa was one is interact internationally, so on is a patana kujuana from globe. Na ina kwa stuff fiti sana. Ni kama masomo like tunafa kujuana so like ni dating so na kujuana jo preference yako na taste because we saw no I don't think so. Um anything good can be regulated. Yeah, so online dating can be regulated because kama kuna watu wanataka kufanya vitu mbaya other than that ukipatiana info yako kwa kwa nini? Niitwa nze kwa mtandao. So like you can be tracked in case you do anything bad kama ulikuwa na intentions mbaya. Na kama ulikuwa na good intentions na the other party pia alikuwa na good intentions it can lead to something good. It should not be banned. Yeah. Reason being people are grown. People are grown and as much as there's online dating, there are others who can't face. Yeah. Maybe they had their, their trauma from the first incident where they met on face to face, and now they prefer online. But they just have to be cautious. I'm not really, uh, I don't feel like uh, online dating should be banned here in Kenya because uh, some people it has worked uh, very well, but some people it has not worked. So I feel like uh, online dating should not be banned uh, here in Kenya. Because uh, uh, some people met, people do meet uh, in different platforms, so I feel like it should not be banned. You start to touch your pro, your sector, come up with a corner smartphone, I'm to you. I love to monitor it on access. Yes, so I put to consult. Maybe you'll get, you guys will need, to, will need to consult the IT guys and those who can fix such things, ways which you can use to regulate online dating, Cindy. That's my thought. No, I don't think he should be banned. Because for some of us in, in our work. Yeah. Actually yes. Because me no nanga like you know wasted of time. Do what we and online dating, a part of my talk to them. Oh may it on a demo may you made there. We talk sometimes when you are wanangi because una parasite yako. No. So me I can recommend that they're not helpful. Not have. Is helpful to some, but percentage ten percent of people. But now na like na fa uko band, na fa uko band ya. Kuzi juwa ni vizuri pata na namse mjuwa ne for long time. Then na date unkiom na juwa na sile me na mpapata na me juwa na for one day you move in, it is not good. Personally, on my opinion about online dating, I feel like online dating should not be banned. I feel like people should have choices to make, you know? Let them explore, decide if I want to do this online dating or if it doesn't work for them. Secondly, I feel like um, the government should put a fee for everyone that wants to do this online dating thing. Number three, I feel like, you know, people need to be more cautious, more careful before meeting strangers from the internet. I feel like you should have done your complete research before letting your guard down and meeting a stranger from the internet. On to our next question is, why do you think that most ladies are victims of online dating? Myself as a lady, first impressions, when we go to the online sites, we see the profile pictures. I have my own perspective of the kind of person that I want to date, the kind of person that I want to meet. So like from the first perspective when I see you, I see your looks and what I'd like to know more about you and that will force me to follow to follow you up. I don't know what I say magic. Could you piano sana? Okay, lack of satisfaction honestly because the wizini ambe o manzi ya jona machali kabla inge kwa tinje. I think mtu anaona labda wale wenye anapata hawako hiyo class anataka. Anafikiria online ndio atapata mzungu fulani, hata msapata msia kona ligi fulani, do fulani, category fulani, hence Wanting more actually gives them less. Because I think ni mambo ya too much options. I think too ni wawo control options zao. Kwa satisfied. Ladies are more vulnerable. According to me, most of the time wasichana wanajikali anga makuwao. Na majokika anga 
human beings are social beings, Sindio. You need other people, you need to interact with other people. Most of the time was Shana Wana Kanga Kwao, that's their primary role. So for her to experience the outside world, most of them are on the internet. Yeah, so I think what one exploiting is their vulnerability. Jupia ukipatanga shano ngini when you're not being like wako so free na people na our kwangi susceptible to those things. Yeah. So it's vulnerability. I love a men on the other hand, like so opportunity to exploit Okay, madam, at Kwangi satisfied most of the time. So to look after someone, manyata fitting kwa she stay too. So yeah. Oh, because no, on a dating, no, you can't trust people. There's a lot of catfishing. The result of fake pictures. No, people are being fake over there. No, we exaggerate a lot. So no, no, you can't even trust what you're seeing. No, it can be difficult. Okay. Yeah. I can say uh, yeah because uh, ladies uh, sana sana how do what no wanna target? Where's the pata online uh, manoma na target you It's very hard. So I guess uh, ladies are very are the victims of uh, online dating. How do you get time? We at least could get to know that person. I love who I should ad advise those who use the online dating apps. If you feel your party are commit, onambia your close people. Maybe when you may agree to meet, or kitu kaiyo. I think they are most of most of the victims are ladies. Not only ladies, but but most victims are ladies. Uh, I think it's because uh, it's because they are prone to maybe being hurt, uh, harassment. Alafupia, they could be victims because of the situation, their life say, the economic situation. People take extreme measures, ama risks kupata at least something to put food on the table. So tona dem maybe aneza kubali kutumika ama going for a blind date ili ya patedo. Sindio? Ya, na maybe wezi jio ule mtu na date intention yake ni nini? Kuna watu pia aneza kwa wanataka tu mtu ambayo aneza uwa wafanyi rituals na body parts zao. We have seen such cases. Sio tu kwa movie. Jilai fisa hizi ni kama movie, ni kama drama na ni real. Sindio? Ya, that's my thought about that. Uh, according to me, I think uh, some of the ladies, they are desperate, uh, according to me, my own opinion. Some of them, they are so desperate. So they feel like uh, when they interact on social medias, maybe they, they will find someone uh, whom they can date with or have fun with. Yeah. Heartbreaks. Heartbreaks from men. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the only thing I think. For me, I feel like, you know, as a man, uh, Sometimes you don't fall with the emotions. Uh, like, when I was in Kimbili, I was very sad. 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 I was very but men wanna stick with their mind like an end goal gani. But ladies sometimes in a conga hard could get that, could decide something. You see, the, the nature of lady, uh, it's like uh, the lady, it's uh, very easy to, for example, kikombe a lady and a manaume, even say to kianza kupigana. It's uh, it's almost ninety percent that I will win. So uh, anything uh, can happen to you even if uh, it's the first. I mean, date ama ama to make it to kijuana. Ragma to make to date for many years. We can things can happen and to kianza kupigana. Maybe probably uta uta kuanini. You'll be the nini. You know, we okay, ladies. Uh, mara mingi to na fall into these traps so easily. Unapata like kuki para namu to mahali. Ame kwambia yo like I'm juani apa muko online, but aki kwambia like let us meet. Like, let me go and meet this guy ni ni nani. Yeah. In most cases in a patanga ni mwana ume like, you come. Siati mwana mke na nambia na mwenzake kuja. Nambia like, 
Mrs. Tunambi were like, come, we meet. So I was like, you, you were too? Um, I'm not sure about that one. Like, I just feel it's equally proportioned, yeah. Ladies, napata ni victims cause najua a lady napata dem ya anataka kudate, but aje pata boy. Na shida si yeku pata boy. Shida ni ni vanya kuna ubaya mwa mwa proud. So ana na iten like to me online dating. Kama na zapata mse njoo like a lady is so hard to approach a man na shoot a shot. No no. So napata the the way I could desperate and sort of things yeah. So napata most ladies so na the yon do like. Alternative to yeah, 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 at least part of someone to date. So that one is personal though, but uh, for ladies, uh, yeah. ladies are called victims of person, they are only dating. Because uh, in this, uh, in this uh, generation right now, uh, the young youth, we tend, ladies don't want to attend Kukua, so to say, uh, yeah. we intaji the relationship. Sana. Now, I hope you are not a broken son because I uh, can get a relationship with uh, him. He has so much love, so much affection. So, uh, so most of them think that what can they after in the online platforms, they what a part of their match uh, because in the Apple platform, can have my description. So, uh, they tend to be when you are not quite taxed on the platform because I don't want to be so I'm not so vulnerable in this kind of this relationship thing. The reason why ladies are victims of online dating, number one, is because ladies are lured with money, expensive gifts, cars. Number two, I feel like ladies are very trusting. Number three, I feel like ladies normally let their guard down. I feel like ladies should always trust their gut, in, gut instincts. I feel like if something in your head tells you something is dangerous, don't try it. And so we're going to go on a short commercial break. We'll be back with two more questions.